What's going on everyone? Juice Bags here and welcome back to some Dungeon Defenders 2 in the Pirate playthrough. I am finishing up here on Chaos 2 and I did want to go ahead and apologize as I will be pumping out these videos over the next couple of days and the reason being is there's a big Fortuna update for Warframe coming next week and then of course we know the DD2 update is coming next week changing and adding in the onslaught uh, replay from wave function on the Lost Temple and changing those mod rarities. Now with those two updates coming, this playthrough is gonna get neglected, so I wanted to try to at least get it recorded over the next few days here, and I'll be getting these videos out to you all as soon as I can. So anyway, this should be my very last Chaos 2 map. Uh, you see my champion score is 1037 now. I need to get to 1050 to unlock Chaos 3. Now I could very easily just go ahead and upgrade a few of these items and get over that 1050. There's no doubt about it. As you see, those gloves are 1059 uh, without even upgrading them. Uh, the weapon's 1055. I could definitely get over the hump with just a few upgrades. However, instead of doing that, I'm going to save those mats and I might even give myself a little head start on Chaos 3 by upgrading some of the legendary items, hoping I find some, of course, that drop on this map. So let's go ahead and get things started. As you see, I am 9 Ascension. So on all my heroes, I basically did the same thing. Um, I dumped the offense points just into hero damage since I don't have a whole, I'm doing a lot of primary weapon spam on the Huntress. Uh, the three points I've got in the defense category need to go into the defense speed. The three points I have in the utility category need to go into defense crit. On all of the four heroes across the board did the exact same thing. So uh, just going, you know, with that, doing the standard build outs. Now for this map, we're going to be using some flamethrowers, uh, some squire blockades, and some cannonball towers. I do have this bad boy on the cannonballs now. Power servo giving me that additional 1200 defense power plus... I got an anti-orc servo, so if any orcs get all uppity up on my walls, these cannons should give them just quite the pounding. Now, this particular map, I'm not going to go with any anti-air, which is probably a huge mistake. However, I want to try to just really go ham on the cannonballs. Now, the cannonballs, of course, will hit air. Ah, we'll see how it goes. I'm going to have to pay attention, no doubt about that. And as you all know, that is not at all my strong point. Now let's go ahead and throw a, see, I'm unsure. I don't think that will get hit by any cleave damage there. Can I put it all the way out here? You know, that actually hits both walls. Let's put it right there. So we got a flamethrower right there. Now that is going to be just bait for these flyers. So I'm hoping they don't destroy it, but strong possibility. And then let's go with one right here as well to split those two lanes. And I'm hoping these guys won't get destroyed. Now, as you see, that's leaving me 430 left, which is quite a few cannons, uh, no doubt about it. So let's just go ham on the cannons. Now, I want to put these as close as I can since I don't have any range. However, I want to make sure they're not so close where they're getting cleaved. Now, these appear to be a little bit cl too close. If there's room for just your character to run through and I'm not a whole lot of side by side, there's a good chance you're too close to your wall and your defenses will take cleave damage. So I'm going to move them back just a teeny tiny bit more there. I'm going to try to go about the same type of range across here. And then here we get a little bit more room to play with, with that kind of funky curve in the deal. Now, this leaves me 160 left, which is five more cannons, which is just nice. So right behind these, let's go with one more on each of them. That leaves me actually 70 left. You know what? Let's go. Let's split these lanes with one more cannon. Just right like about like that. And then I'm probably risking it big time here. But I'm going to throw another flamethrower here. And I'm going to hope that those don't take any damage. So I do have 200 mana left. And, you know, I'm not proud. It's going into the walls. Now, I still don't have any shards, as I mentioned. I just can't seem to get a break here. Um, I've got Stunfire, which is good stuff. I got nothing for the Spike Blockades. Um, 
I've got nothing for the flamethrowers. I've got nothing anywhere. I've just had terrible, terrible luck with shards so far on this playthrough, and I'm hoping that starts changing for me real soon. Of course, in Chaos 3, when we get there, is going to open up the possibility of getting the Deadly Strike Shard, which is quite the game changer. Um, I mentioned it on live stream the other day. If you're a new player to the game and you get destruction in Chaos 1 when you're first playing through, oh, you are so darn lucky, as that is just really what it's all about. I mean, the game is 100% all about the shards, especially when you're first starting off, and everything else works off of those shards. So definitely want to make sure you get the shards and... You know, of course, I'm being too stubborn and refusing to play uh, tiers over again and, or farm lower tiers and just hoping I get my shards on the way. So hopefully I get a luck, a little luck here, and I get at least one or two decent shards before too long. Let's see. Let's get a repair going on these walls here. These cannons are taking a beating. It's from, a, I'm sure, a, a flyer dive bombed it. Overshot the cyborgs. Very smooth, very smooth. See if we can't get a nice little lane clear here. One of the reasons I chose this map is I knew that these walls were going to get beat down and I wanted to just be close to them. So, uh, you know, as you see, the Thork is still hitting my walls. And in addition to that, the Javelin throwers are throwing th through the walls, so the cannons are still taking a little damage. However, we made it through wave one, and that is half the battle right there. That is a for sure. So, what do we want to do here? Seems like the uh, natural choice is going to be upgrade these cannons. In effect, I might be able to get all of them. Or almost all of them. Oh, I think I'm going to be able to get all of them. Nice. Actually, I'm going to be able to get the flamethrowers too. So awesome. Now, those flamethrowers didn't take any damage. Let's see how they dealt. 1.7, 1.8. What did a cannon do? 2.3. So the flamethrowers held their own. Um, they're not like dishing out massive amounts of pain, but it's a little extra lane clear for me. All right, now I got a skelly coming here now, and we know those skellies have just massive, massive cleave range, which means those cannons I'm pretty sure are gonna get wiped out. So I'm gonna hope to take that skelly down a little bit early. And to be honest with you, I should be taking advantage of this uh, frost trap over here for the flyers when they come rolling in, which I have failed to do that as well. So here comes our first, first kobold flyer. I think since that's just one, I'm just gonna do him in myself. There we go. If I get two, if there's two flyers in the pack, it seems like it makes a little more sense to use that. However, I don't wanna get myself in trouble here. And I'm going to, by refusing to use any sort of anti-air. Alright, here it comes. It's a Plaguing Hawk. So the Plaguing Hawk, of course, has got that massive, massive range on his cleave damage, or his melee attacks. Come on, Wither Beast. Get out of the ground. There we go. I'd really, I'd really, really like to be focused on, uh on that Plankton Hawk right now, but that is just not a realistic quite yet. Because if these flyers get past those cannons, I'm in deep, deep trouble. Let's see if we can't keep them out here a little bit. There's a mage too. Actually, the Plankton Hawk's getting wrecked. Nice. Cannonballs go. That is one area where cannons have never lacked, and that is that high single target damage against bosses, that's for sure. Got another mage over here. And there we go, wave two down. Get some quick repairs on the walls. I'm half tempted to give those walls one more repair. I didn't even look at that. What was that bad boy? Another power servo. I mean, that can go on my poison dart tower or whatever, which I'm not using right at the moment. It's actually way better than that flamethrower. It's right there with the cannon. That was a pretty decent relic. All right, so I tell you what, let's go ahead and do it. One more upgrades on, on the walls. And let's go one more on these flamethrowers and see if we can get them strong enough where they're actually going to kill something. 
All right, we got quibs in the mix this time. Looks like we got three cobalt flyers there and two here. So I'm definitely going to want to be real attentive to those flyers, that's for sure. Let's do it up. I don't... I, I like to use this on more than one flyer. It's tough to justify using it for one. If I use it for just one flyer, then you know the other ones are going to swoop right in on me. <laughs> it's just... That's just how it works. But they're still coming out single file. Let me just go ahead and put the herd on him manually. There we go. Nope, they're all going to come out single file, it appears. Yeah. Oh, and I popped it too early and completely missed the flyer. So smooth. So smooth. Alright, what a beast out of the ground. I just have to kind of let those javelin throwers do their thing, which is crappy, but... There's quibs. Oh man, I need Quibbly to get a little bit closer. Actually, he's dying. The cannonballs are... he's slightly out of range of the cannons, which is bad news. Alright, I took some damage that time, that's for sure. Get this Plaguing Hawk taken out. That Plaguing Hawk's gonna do some damage with his cleaves. He needs to die. There we go. Oh man, lots of loot too. That's awesome. All right, so I could be, I could definitely be getting rid of these javelin throwers quicker. As they're just getting way too damn much damage in on my walls. At first, I thought it was the cyborgs because their attack does have some nice range to it. But I think that is all javelin throwers. They're just tearing stuff up. All right, we got one stuck. There, no, it's a mage. There we go. All right, let's get some repairs going here. Hmm. Tempted. So tempted on that weapon, but... What's this one? Oh, uh, that one is a little bit better. I think I'm going to have to use that one. Alright, let's get these walls repaired. Get some cannon ups going. Now this will definitely help with the flyers quite a bit. This... This fire type is just mean, mean, mean to flyers. Alright, we got healthy power. That tenacity is not doing much for me. I mean, that is a big uh, champion score upgrade right there. And there it is, actually. That got me over the hump where I could hop right into Chaos 3 right now. Now, I'm to the point already. I'm four waves in. I'm just going to finish the map. I'm not going to bail out. But, I could leave the map right now and just jump right into Chaos 3. Let's get that Wither Beast dealt with. There we go. I didn't look at the flyers this time. There we go. That was a little better. Oh, and the shatter damage. The shatter combo took him way, way down, but it didn't kill him. Keep wrecking it up. We got, oh man, we already got a Wither Beast in the ground. Looks like the cannon took care of it though. Now I do want to watch these ranged mobs that are throwing in the middle. Let's get that wall upgraded and get this Wither Beast out of the ground here. Now there's another two. He's got homies. And we got flyers. All right, these flyers gotta go. My walls are getting beat down. Oh, I got no pet ability. Here I'm popping pet abilities. Oh man, this wall is in deep trouble. Uh, luckily, those cannons took care of Tuscar. Alright, then we got a siege roller out here too. This wall is getting soft now. Oh, I can't wait for you, Chaos 3. No more cyborgs, please. Right, all the flyers dead. Looks like all the flyers are dead. All about the roller. 
Let's get this roller worked on. Look at the mages coming up from behind. Good gosh. Oh my goodness, was that a roller one shot? I didn't think that was possible with the gear I had, but that was indeed a roller one shot. You go, little Huntress, do your thing. Probably got a little help from those flamethrowers or something. That seemed too good to be true. Or just a lucky crit. I mean, I haven't even looked at my gear. I may have a bunch of ability power stacked and don't even know it. It'd probably be smooth, a little smarter to take a look at the gear. <laughs> Good lord, man, these javelin throwers. Give me some EV2 and some reflect walls, dang it. One more. Actually, there's a bunch more, but this is the worst of the bunch. There we go. Very nice. Wow, just complete beatdown on this. Alright, lots of upgrades. So, I mean, I'm going to get a nice little uh, jump start, I think, into Chaos 3. We'll have to see. I mean, I might not even need to. I probably won't bother. I'm going to save. I'll save. It's the smartest thing to do. Save those mats and then maybe have those help me jump uh, jump through Chaos 3 towards the end of it or something. I, I can probably get away with only doing one or two Chaos 3 maps if I blew all of my materials. Which I'm not against. Alright, what do we got for bosses? We got a Tuskar coming. We got a Cannon Ogre. Uh-oh. And then Quibs. Okay, we know Quibs. Now hopefully Quibs is in range of that flamethrower right there. That would be ideal. And I failed to look at the flyer lanes. But I see there's a cobalt flyer coming in right now. Let's just do what we can to put a hurting on these beds. Clear the pack, very nice. That wall's getting beat up. Actually, it wasn't too bad. Alright, we got two Wither Beasts in the ground. There's one of them's popped. It looks like a third is entering over on the left, but I got flyers now to attend to. So let's get the flyers taken care of. Flyers down, very nice. Looks like the cannons took care of that Wither Beast. Er, nope. There's another Wither Beast in the ground. Actually, there's two more in the ground. Good lord, these wither beasts are uppity. Spike blockade down. Oh, I'm in trouble. I let that cannon ogre take out my my blocks. Oh no. Woo! Cannon ogre's bad. Bad cannon ogre. Now I got a lane full of mobs here, and only three cannonballs left to kill them. Oh, I am in a deep trouble now. See, flyer down. Go, flyer die. Another flyer down. Man, that was way sketchy. I am just anxious to get to Chaos 3. Chaos 3 is getting back to that R spam and spawn camps is like a breath of fresh air. <laughs> no doubt about it. Now, of course, once we get a little power in the mix and get some shards, then these cannons will be definitely coming back into the rotation, for particularly for Chaos 5. Alright, let's get a... Oh, not enough mana. I was going to say, let's throw a flamey bird down the road here. Now, it looks like the flamethrowers are hitting quibs. Which means this is pretty much good game, as it's just a matter of time till they're burned down. Got to deal with these skellies, of course. Ugh, damn mages and their skellies. Let's get quibs. Let's focus quibs down a little here. There we go, quibs down. Oh, and it's good game. So there is our very last Chaos 2 win, as it is time to step it on up to Chaos 3. Now, since I haven't gotten any shards yet, I'm going to pop them right now. i got to see what I got. Come on, shards, be there. 
Now, I'm looking for a Chaos 1 shard pack first off, so I've got double RNG. I didn't get one. I got Campaign and Chaos 2. But let's see what we got. Enduring Tornado. That's at least usable by one of my heroes. And we got Panic Fire, which I can make that work somewhere. That's not the shard I'm looking for. But I can put it to work at least. So it is a usable shard. So anyway, thank you all very much for watching. Uh, click that like button. Please subscribe to the channel. Uh, next up is going to be Chaos 3. And I just can't wait. See you soon.